Well, that's another episode of uh, Uncle Tiger Captain Tour. Brian and AKA Oyster. Made it to our spot here, right outside of Tattoosh and Duncan Rock with Captain Tiger. Oh yeah, look, look, at this, look, at this, look at this team bright ass shirts Woo. over here. You can't the miss them, dude. Baby. They're gonna scare all the fish away, but they're so damn bright, just like their personality. It's all right, we brought our little good luck charm with us. I got kidnapped by two white guys. It's a Z-Man right there. <laughs> uh, that's what we're gonna have to be competing with. Hopefully I don't snag one of these things. We got a double going on over here, a little double action. Okay, you got one's got a rock fish, literally. Rock fish. Rock. <laughs> Ooh, nice ling. Nice ling. There you go. Good job. Just dropped it down. So we got what, 20, 20, 19 bottom fish so far, Yeah, 19, a couple 20. lings, and one nice one by, by Oyster over there who is falling asleep and already, and a cabbie. Beautiful scenery today, got some smoke from the fire, but other than that, weather's uh, pretty nice. Great scenery, had uh, my first experience with sea lions attacking my fish, that was pretty exciting actually. Uh, but they're a pain in the ass, so, but I don't even know where we're at now. We're yeah. somewhere here. Right off the back side of tattoos. Back side of tattoos, right that's like that. Right through the washing machine cut. Okay, so there you go. We'll see what we need to do now. A fish! A fish! A fish, boss! A fish! A fish! A fish! A fish. I don't think it's a big fish, though. A fish! The plane, boss! The plane! <laughs> <laughs> This is such a cool looking fish. This is a tiger rockfish named after Captain Tiger because he's bright and has a lot of personality. So, just like our captain here. He looks like a rock bass. Oh, get out of the way down. Got <laughs> me off guard, man. <laughs> Trying to knock a cool white boy in the water. Feels oh. much better. I think it's a ling. No. What the hell is that? Damn, that's a big one, dude. It's a yellow eye. Holy shit. You don't see too many of those around. Good there. gosh. Oh, that's a oh. nice one. Oh. <laughs> yellow eye. You don't see those around. Oh, my God. Where's the yellow eye? I don't see no damn yellow eyes. But good God, that's a pig. Huh? What is this thing like? 10 pounds? Oh, bigger than that. Holy oh, shit. Huh? 11, maybe 12. Those things get up there. Holy smokes. That is just a monster. Wow. Oh, man, it's 
spines everywhere in these things. Dude, that is a freaking toad. Oh, jeez. Oh, tired of holding yet? Dude, this thing is. Let's see, let's see here. I want to see. You got those two thorns. No, this is about eight. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's, hitting, it's hitting the second slot. Yeah, I do another like that. That's, that's sick. <laughs> oh, my God. This is just a monster. Oh, yeah. Pink four ounce Lancer. What you got there, Brian? Woo! Eight pounds is what the bogo grip is saying. I caught it with my left Godly. arm. Godly, what a beautiful fish. I caught it with my left arm. Grab your deck up here, boy. Yeah. He's freeing me now. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting about your camera, dude. <laughs> I get a fish on, he's spraying me down. Hey Brian, can you stand in the back of the boat so I get a little weight back there so I can rinse it down? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> I need to wind this boat back. I need some big guy back here. <laughs> oh, oh no, he's on it. Get off there. Look how many fish are attacking his Lancer jig. Look at all the salmon there. It's insane. With the barbless, you should be able to shake it loose. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, I know. I just didn't just try it. Like it. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There's a little darts using a seven foot rod. Fun. Woo. Good times. Now we're gonna go after, so we got a limit of bass, limit of salmon, and a limit of lings. Now we gotta go after halibut. And that would be, it's not even a trifecta, that's more like a quad, right? That's all kinds of stuff. What a day so far. Well, we came back out here and uh, Captain Tiger did what was, we said we were gonna do. We said, yeah, went back out after got our other fish cleaned up and uh, he was dinking around with his phone, not even paying attention and <laughs> caught one blind halibut. What's up? Uh, day two, uh, Sunday. It's gonna be a half a day for me because I have to head back. Tiger and Brian's gonna be out there until tomorrow, so I'm kind of jealous, uh, but you know, gotta work. Anyway, epic day yesterday. I mean, we caught freaking everything. Um, didn't really go for halibut like we wanted to because we had fun catching everything else. I mean, bottom fishing, lings, rock fish, uh, we caught mackerel, salmon were pretty much everywhere. Um, that was a, a blast. Uh, you know, uh, pretty much every drop with the dart, that's what we're using. Um, and uh, hooking up and, you know, releasing the ones that we didn't want to keep and things like that. So, yeah, it was fun until we got bored pretty much. Um, but uh, got in late last night, fished all day. Um, and that's the one thing that I would say when you're planning to come out here or you get invited to come out here is making sure that you understand that this is should be an all day deal um, unless you want to come in here and catch your fish and go home but I think you need to you know absorb the environment uh, the scenery I mean I had sea lions attacking my fish grabbing my fish while I'm fighting it um, it was just a I mean, just a whole experience but also understand that it's uh, it's a lot of work and I think people think that uh, you know you come out here and you see pictures of fish posted and all this stuff and think it's easy but you're standing for 12 13 hours at least we were yesterday fighting the you know conditions the waves the wind you know you're jigging four ounces um, of weight uh, it's brutal um, and you have to anticipate for that uh, cause a lot of people go oh hey you know take me out fishing da, 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 da. And, you know I have to tell them hey are you prepared to lose a hundred dollars worth of gear um, you know the gas the slip you know the cost you know make sure that if you are invited to fish in a environment like this that you participate in the expense just like you know bass fishing i think we've talked about that in other videos that i've done about making sure that you take care of the your part whether it's a uh, paying for half the gas the boat slip the launch fee food you know there's a lot of maintenance especially with salt water that i've experienced so far um, because i'm mostly a freshwater fisherman but now that I've been doing a little more salt water, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of wear on your, your gear, a lot of uh, preparation and, you know, the, the upkeep on your equipment, the wear and tear on the boat, the trailer, the reels, the rods, all that stuff. So, you know, that, that, that would say would be my advice for anybody who is going to get into salt water or, you know, get invited to go out and fish is, you know, keep that in mind that you get to go home after the fishing trip is done or after the weekend but the boat boat owners need to go home and clean and you know do all the maintenance to their gear um, so just kind of keep that in mind but uh, yeah so since it's a short day for us um, looks like it's foggy we're driving to Nia Bay now from CQ where we're staying and uh, we'll see what the condition looks like it's supposed to be another nice nice beautiful day like it was yesterday you know in the 70s um wind is probably around the 10 miles an hour range and uh but the fog is going to dictate where we go i'd love to get back to some salmon so it's only a one area or you have to go past tattoos to get that so um yeah and maybe give us enough time um get our limits and give us enough time to maybe go after some link i mean not something called but some halibut so Tiger caught one yesterday after we got our fish cleaned up and everything. We're like, hey, let's go back out. So it kind of worked out. Got enough, you know, 14, 15 pounder. So nothing, nothing big, but it's still a lot. Uh, it's good, good meat. So that's it. We'll see. We'll see you on the water and see how it goes. And uh, 
hopefully we uh, get a quick limit today because I have to head home and uh, go hang out with the family. So anyway, thanks. <laughs>